In the introduction of Franz Kafka's story, The Metamorphosis, Gregor Samsa, a traveling salesman, awakens one morning to discover he has turned into an insect-like creature. He lies in bed, wondering if this is real, and thinking about the many unpleasant aspects of his career and his family's reliance on his income. Seeing that he is late for work, he panics and worries about his boss's reaction. Gregor's mother, father, and sister Greta all call to him in his room. He responds in a strange voice as he struggles to maneuver his bizarre new body out of bed. Soon, Gregor's supervisor comes looking for Gregor. He accepts hmm? none of the family's excuses. When Gregor tries to defend himself, no one can understand him. Eventually, Gregor manages to unlock his door and come out. At the sight of him, his mother swoons in revulsion. His father clenches his jaw and fists and openly weeps. In the rising action, Gregor's father then angrily herds his son back into his room, injuring Gregor in the process. Over the following days, Gregor keeps himself hidden in his room. His sister Greta becomes his caretaker, feeding him and cleaning his room when her parents and the maid aren't around. Gregor reflects on his plan to save up and pay for his sister's education, worrying that his aging parents are not well enough to work. Greta decides to move the furnishings out of Gregor's room to give him more freedom to crawl. His mother, who has not seen him since the first morning, thinks these changes will upset Gregor, but she agrees to help. When she sees Gregor clinging to a picture on the wall, she faints. Greta scolds Gregor and escorts her hysterical mother from the room. Mr. Samsa, now employed and consistently wearing his uniform, returns home from work and angrily pelts his son with apples. One becomes lodged painfully in Gregor's back and becomes infected. Badly injured, as the days pass, Gregor uses a gap in the bedroom door to observe and listen to his family as they go about their routines. He learns that his mother and Greta now have jobs and that his family has taken in three demanding boarders. Greta's attention to her brother declines and Gregor feels like a burden. One evening, Greta plays her violin and Gregor crawls into the living room to be closer to the lovely performance. But the boarders spot him and immediately announce that they are leaving. In the climax of the story, Greta tells her parents they must do something about Gregor, urging her parents that they must get rid of him. In the falling action, after Gregor overhears this, he makes his way back to his room where he dies early the next morning. In the resolution, the Samsas feel both saddened and relieved by Gregor's death. They decide to treat themselves to a day in the countryside with fresh air and sunshine, where they start envisioning a hopeful path forward. The four members of the Samsa family are the central characters in Franz Kafka's tale of truly strange transformation, the metamorphosis. Gregor Samsa is the main character of the story. A young traveling salesman working tirelessly to support his parents and sister, Gregor wakes up late for work one morning to discover that he is no longer human. Instead, he's a huge insect-like creature, and he lives the rest of his cloistered life reflecting on his former existence, trying to avoid his overbearing father and crawling the walls of his bedroom. Eventually, his family tires of him, and his father injures him badly when he hurls an apple at his formerly human son. Injured and alienated, Gregor eventually dies in a state of empty and peaceful rumination. Greta Samsa is Gregor's 17-year-old sister, and she treats her brother with kindness and compassion when she realizes he is a bug. She feeds him and attempts to figure out his needs, but she later comes to resent his inability to work and provide for their family, imploring her family to do something about her brother, who she refers to as It. Greta does not know that while working as a salesman, Gregor was saving up to pay for her violin lessons. Mr. Samsa is the patriarch of the family who retired from a failed business. Mr. Samsa rarely leaves the flat and relies on his son to provide for the family. From the get-go, he has no patience for his son's predicament, losing his temper and injuring Gregor in fits of rage. When forced to return to work, however, Mr. Samsa's vigor seems to return, and he feels a sense of relief once Gregor dies and his family can move on. Mrs. Samsa is Gregor's frail and aging mother. She loves her son, but grows hysterical and faints in terror each time she catches a glimpse of his hideous appearance. Her daughter and husband try to persuade her to stay out of his bedroom. One day, she enters his room to help Greta rearrange furniture 
and faints at the sight of him clinging to his favorite possession, a framed advertisement of a woman in furs hanging on his wall, causing Mr. Samsa to retaliate against Gregor in a fit of rage. The entire family begins to work to make up for the fact that Gregor cannot. Mrs. Samsa's contribution is to earn money by sewing. Vermin, women in furs, Mr. Samsa's uniform, spring, and apples are the commonplace symbols of modern life that mean so much more in Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis. Vermin may be the best term for the nasty, creepy, crawly insect thing Gregor Samsa becomes. On one level, Gregor's vermin form seems to represent the dehumanizing and degrading aspects of his life and work in modern society. Work consumes him. The vermin he becomes is a manifestation of his misery working day in and day out with little joy or motivation. The woman in furs, an advertisement hanging in Gregor's room, showed a lady fitted out with a fur hat and fur boa who sat upright, raising a heavy fur muff that covered the whole of her lower arm towards the viewer. The picture, which Gregor had lovingly framed and displayed, symbolizes Gregor's former status as a human being with sexual urges who can enjoy a provocative image of a woman. When Gregor, as an insect, clings to the advertisement, which also seems to connect to his former life as a salesman, he's guarding his remaining hope of remaining human. Mr. Samsa's uniform, adorned with polished, gleaming gold buttons, symbolizes the self-respect he experiences when he returns to work and supports his family by his own means. Before Gregor's transformation, he had rarely left the apartment, changed out of his dressing gown, or even combed his hair. But forced to return to work instead of relying on his son, he's invigorated by his new role as provider. When Gregor dies and his family comes to view his body, the charwoman opens a window, and warm, fresh spring air enters Gregor's bedroom. It's the end of March early spring, and the family leaves for the country to take in the warm air and sunshine. These references to spring symbolize hope and renewal for the members of the Samsa family, who have undergone a hard experience but look forward to better times ahead, as the three make plans for a happier life to come. Apples, symbolically, are the forbidden fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the Bible. By eating this fruit, Adam and Eve gain knowledge, but in doing so, they also commit a sin and are expelled from the Garden of Eden. In the Metamorphosis, similarly, apples are a symbol of a new understanding that leads to pure misery. After his enraged father pelts Gregor with apples, one lodges in Gregor's back and begins to rot, causing the area to become infected. Alienation in modern life, mind and body, and family ties. Themes related to work and the everyday weirdness of 20th century living in Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis. Throughout The Metamorphosis, Kafka portrays the alienation in modern life associated with the early 20th century work world, an alienating place devoid of happiness and human connection. The protagonist, Gregor Samsa, works as a traveling salesman, a position involving the curse of traveling, worries about making train connections, bad and irregular food, contact with different people all the time so that you can never get to know anyone or become friendly with them. Gregor is fed up with this lifestyle and longs for a change. And boy, does he ever get one when he wakes up one morning as a giant insect. Through the Samsa family, Kafka paints a picture of the toll modern work can take on society. Mind and body is another important theme, as on the outside, Gregor looks like an insect, yet on the inside, he thinks and reasons like a human, revealing a major mind-body disconnect. Gregor's thoughts focus primarily on work. He worries about how his boss will react to his being late to work. He navigates his weird new body in order to get out of bed. As time passes, however, Gregor learns to use his insectoid limbs to hang from the ceiling, adhere to the framed advertisement of the woman in furs, and more. And he no longer enjoys his favorite human drink, sweetened milk, now preferring spoiled, rotten vegetables and scraps from his family's meals. 
Hearing Greta play violin makes him question, was he an animal if music could captivate him so? Finally, Kafka explores the complex nature of family ties in the metamorphosis. Throughout the story, Gregor plays the role of family caretaker and peacemaker, working a miserable job as a traveling salesman to provide for his family, keeping hardly any money for himself. Even after he turns into a bug, he worries first about whether his parents, whom he sees as aging and frail, will be able to go out and earn money, and feels terribly guilty that his sister will not be able to afford attending conservatory. Gregor's anxiety comes from his acceptance of responsibility for his family's hardships and feeling a need to fix them on his own. But at the same time, Gregor resents his parents and sister for ignoring him. These mixed emotions, which fluctuate from loving to resentful, are also those the family has for Gregor. 